It's time for Uncle Buddy. How are you? <laughs> what a crowd. What a crowd. Looks like the last five Jeb Bush supporters just figured out he's really a mannequin. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> Here he is, folks. He's so dumb when someone asked him what the largest amphibious assault in history was. He said when Godzilla invaded Tokyo, mm -hmm. Morty Shine Blue. <laughs> Welcome to 2016. Happy New Year's, Big Show. Happy New Year. Yeah. May your troubles last as long as your resolutions. <laughs> <laughs> hey, did you know we senior citizens have our own New Year's prayer? Dig this, as the kids say. <laughs> God, grant me the senility to forget the people I hate, the good fortune to run into the ones I do, and the eyesight enough to tell the difference. <laughs> Words to live by. Amen, brother. <laughs> Everyone makes a resolution to lose weight. I'm at my perfect weight. I'm just 11 feet too short. <laughs> but you know. <laughs> exercise, exercise. Everybody's exercising. Forget it. Every time I exercise, the ice always bounces out of my Rob Roy. <laughs> I'll never forget the year I was celebrating New Year's in Ireland. We were at this little pub. Have you got a second? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we were at this little pub, and a barmaid stands on a stool, and she says, It's almost midnight. I want all the husbands to stand next to the person that makes their life worth living. And the clock struck midnight, and the poor bartender was almost crushed to death. <laughs> it was terrible. Oh, the humanity. Okay, this is the year we elect a new president. After eight years of Mr. Pen and Phone, I'd be happy with Mr. Pencil and Smoke Signal. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> Field is starting to whittle down. People are starting to drop out. But I got to say... I know you guys aren't going to like this. I'm voting for Trump. These other guys, they screwed me over the last two elections. Made all these promises about what they were going to do. And what did they do? Jack squat. If I want to vote for somebody who's going to lie to me all the time, I'd vote Democrat. <laughs> <laughs> Sheila, my wife, don't get me started on her in politics. She's voting for Hillary. Can you believe it? She says, it's time for a woman to be in the White House. I said, that's what Obama's for. <laughs> <laughs> Time for a woman in the White House. Give me a break. Voting for Hillary because she's a woman is like eating a cat turd because it looks like a Tootsie Roll. I'll tell you that right now. How's everybody feeling? Everybody feeling good? Good. How's that knee, Jethro? Good. Good. The reason I ask is I see that oil can on the console. Is there something you're not telling us? Got the tin man over there. Got my yearly physical yesterday. Doctor asked me about my daily level of physical activity. I said, well, Doc, yesterday... Let me just give you a pinpoint. Well, Doc, yesterday I waded <laughs> along the edge of a lake. I drank eight beers, escaped from wild dogs in the heavy brush, jumped away from a rabid raccoon, marched up and down several hills, stood in a patch of poison ivy, crawled out of quicksand, and took four leaks behind some big trees. The doctor says, wow, I'm impressed. You're a hell of an outdoorsman for a guy your age. I said, no, I'm not. I'm just a lousy golfer. <laughs> 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 oh, I drove up on a heck of a wreck the other day. Oh, it was terrible. A lawyer in his BMW opened his door when a car came along and tore the door off. What a mess. The cop showed up. The lawyer was really pissing and moaning, pacing back and forth. Officer, look what that jerk did to my Beamer. The cop stopped him cold. He said, you lawyers are so materialistic, you make me sick. You're so worried about your stupid car, you didn't even notice that your left arm was ripped off. The lawyer says, oh, my God, my Rolex. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one last one. I gotta go. The Rolex reminded me of a good one. Here you go. Okay, over in Brooklyn, an old Italian man is on his deathbed. He calls his grandson to his side. Guido, I want you to listen to me. I want you to take my chrome-plated 38 revolver so you'll always remember me. The kid says, but Grandpa, I really don't like guns. How about, how about you leave me your Rolex watch instead? The old man grabs the boy by his arm. You will listen to me, boy. Someday, you're going to be running a family business. You're going to have a beautiful wife, and lots of money, a big home, maybe a couple of bambinos, and some day, you're going to come home and maybe find that pretty wife of yours in a bed with another man. What are you going to do then? Point to your watch and say, time's up? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's it for me. Come on, buddy. Big show, audience. Mr. Ace in the world. So long, everybody. <laughs>